with your with that kind of with that kind of account uh, sorry i'm buffering uh, with that kind of account the best you can do for yourself and your money is to to have at most two positions of 0 0.01 Okay, sir. But don't don't put anything more uh, because now you will you will forever be be blowing. The other thing is the bit about leverage. When you're opening an account with a broker, be very keen. There's that bit about leverage. If you never check it, they will just give you any kind of leverage. For instance, there's a broker that used to be in South Africa called JP Markets. JP Markets used to give somebody 1,000, one is to 1,000. If you enter a position, one position with 0 0.01 for NASDAQ and it goes your direction, you make 300 flat, boom. But if it moves against you, 10 to 11 pips, your $300 is gone. So now, uh, Tosin, the problem with very high leverage is you will be trading with, with uh, bearing in mind that you can lose everything. If things go against you. So that's why it is much better. Okay, guys are told to use one is to 500. But if you're going to use that, use don't open more than two positions on 0 0.01 after you have known your, your, what's this thing? Your spread. And another thing about the spread, guys, when, you, when, when um, you're dealing with a broker, don't be very fast to use a broker without knowing how they work. There are some brokers that have uh, this habit of if you I think that is also something that I will I think I'll show you guys if you look at mt5 at the bottom there are certain values like if you go to euro usd you'll see maybe 30 35 like that those are now that is now the difference between the asking and the bid price now, what certain brokers do, if they cannot manipulate the movement, they make that spread very big, very big. Now, the thing is, even when it moves two pips, because the range is so big, it looks like it has moved 25 pips. And then now it hits your stop loss. When it hits your stop loss, they make money. And they do that at specific times. Others, if if like now you're going for a trade that is um, beyond six o six p.m., you enter that tr that trade at your own risk unless your account is very robust because they will manipulate the spread, make it very big, and then now it be, th for you to buy that specific uh, pair becomes very expensive for no good reason. Then. After that, they change it. Because again, uh, <laughs> when I was learning Forex, Panther used to, to, to tell us something. A broker is not your friend. As much as you make money from them, they also uh, want you to lose. So those are the things you must be able to monitor. Just like how when you, when you, uh, when you, you are sitting for an exam, the lecturer who sets that exam does not really set it for you to pass. It is to gauge how much you know. So if, you are, if, if you've read very well, then you're able to collect all the marks. But if you decided to watch a series of 24 before and you said, ah, this thing is very easy. My friend, you'll see stars. So the, the same thing with your broker, you must be able to know how they operate. Never be very quick to just jump in, fund an account, 
apart from deriv and i'll tell you deriv why deriv even if you have leverage it's not like when you buy um when you buy these other things because those things are actually very cheap if you've ever seen and that's why you are you have these people who who if you've ever monitored on instagram where somebody has a 24 dollar account 30 account they enter a position and boom it makes a lot of money you cannot do that with currencies it is very you would have to be probably trading a news event and then it starts moving immediately otherwise you lose that money faster than you can blink so guys uh tosina i hope i've answered your question yes very well very well so, so now i think what you are saying sorry yeah. to you, i think what you are saying now is if at all i have any idea any plan to open more than two position yeah of 100 account 100 dollar account in 0 0.01 yeah so i have plan that means i need to cut my leverage down to below 1.200 yeah it's on more below it's it's actually a ratio so it's yeah it has to go below one one is to 200 and now the the implication of that is the less leverage the less money you make but it yes, gives you more breathing room. Okay. So if if you are not a daredevil, then that that will work for you. But if you are daredevil and you want to fight one is to five hundred. One one is to five hundred. You put only one zero point zero one position. One. Don't be tempted and hear voices telling you, ah, guy, we can make more money. Nothing. Mm -hmm. That is how you will <laughs> your trade will crash, it will melt, hit the ground, and your account you start seeing zero point point something. Then you start wondering whether. Let me tell you, there's a time I got a loss. I started hitting my phone because I thought it was network. I hit my phone all around. I jumped up and down, thinking it is network. And it's that the account had blown. <laughs> so if you don't want to to hard, to to learn the hard way, like some of us have, <laughs> be very patient, slow and steady, and you'll see your account grow. Thank you so much. This really, really made a lot of a lot of sense and the paradigm shift. I think I have to work on that or bring it down. Now I will hand over to Panther so that he can handle the other. I believe there were two other things. That we've had for doing applications, I think it puts us in it puts us in a good position to know, especially when you are coming to the monetizing part, because you see there's many. Hello? Yeah, we are waiting for you to tackle the other, oh, the sorry. other I was, things. I was, still, I was still working out on something. Sorry, sorry. Okay, guys, I, I'm sure you heard whatever that David was explaining and anything. Is, is there anyone who is not clear about something? Is there anyone who is not clear about something or who would love to, to ask anything regarding what has been discussed? Yes, uh, I think in the aspect of the leverage and uh, um, the 
value and stuff that you explained earlier. I think I have gotten some things that when I ruminate over it over time and try to practicalize it, the understanding will sink more. But I don't think I got so much the explanation of the margin that you do. The margin calculation. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um uh, with with margin, what I'm going to do to make it more easier, like I said in the first place, I uh, like I, I said uh, it will be very difficult for individuals here to understand certain things due due to the level of their forex knowledge, you know. So some would get it, some wouldn't. So what I'm going to do is um. I'm actually, I was actually planning with David that I think it's better off when we conduct these Zoom sessions during weekends because I've noticed that during weekdays, uh, people are busy and they're going to work, they are tired, they don't really have time. So during weekend, it's, it's the best. So I think, David, the, what, what you're going to do is that uh, on Saturday, I'm going to create uh, uh, something that I want, we're going to post so that it can go, uh, it can reach everywhere to everyone's preview. Uh, so that we can also uh, touch this margin part from 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 beginner point, you know, so that we can understand step by step exactly what this margin is and how it can help you and so forth. So, hence I was saying that somehow we are going to have a, a little bit of difficulties in terms of explaining this these things according to uh, one's uh, level of, of, of what? Uh, someone's level of, of um, understanding. And I think the best way ever, David, what do you think? Uh, do, do you think making YouTube uh, uh, some videos would be better? Explaining. Yeah. If we make videos, the only thing is, okay, they, they have they have the chance to watch them and watch them all over again and uh, mm. then ask us questions then after um but i think you know uh, it's normally said that a, a disease or a problem is sorted out <laughs> when when the doctor is there not very far <laughs> so I don't know session, why I don't know why you're not writing a book already. This session that we are having is is helping get rid of certain problems instantly. Because the video, yes. the mm. video, the people will watch, 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 then still come back again. So I prefer I prefer this. Okay, I understand what you're saying. The, the main reason why I wanted us to do it that way is because um um, the, the reason behind is that you see, like I said, people have different understanding. Yeah. So we don't know who is who. And, and we, at the end of the day, again, we also have a problem with certain people whereby, you know, they are join, they go, they work. But if we did something that we record, I think it was going to be better because even others can also still watch through our YouTube a channel and, and and just imagine you have ten people. The other one as the other one on the on, on on the Zoom session has never even heard of a name or a word. Imagine they are they are hearing for the for the first time. Yes. And now you you are going to explain something that that is a little bit on the middle in the middle of the journey of you know margin. So those are the issues that I'm trying to talk, I'm, I'm trying to 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 bring about here. Because people have different level of understanding here, you know. Yeah, so, it, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. We we can we can mm. then um, make a video, and then if they mm. have uh, any any questions, then they ask. I think what kind of a video am I going to make? Uh, okay, I know the type of video that I'm going to make. I know the type of video to make, and. Uh, I'll, I'll send them the link so they can they can watch it. I think I'll record it from beginner. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll record it from beginner. Uh, how do you call these videos? They are called slides. I'll make some, I'll, I'll do some slides. 
I can't even assess it in my... Yeah, uh, there's a gentleman called Abdul who has his hand up. Yeah, uh, hello. Hello, mm. good evening. Hello, good evening, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we, uh, we are here and we can hear you. Thank you, good evening all. I, uh, this is my first time of being here. And I'm so very excited of being here too. Um, the, the host have just uh, answered the question where I what make me to raise my hand. Actually, um, the, the, the live streaming like this is more better than a, a video because um, in live streaming you can uh, you have the uh, audacity to ask uh, some questions and of which you will be clarified. That is uh, that is the areas I had wanted to go before the host now conquer maybe crown it all. Thank you very much, sir. No, oh, you are most welcome, Mr. Abdul. You are most welcome. Okay. Um, um, I think uh, what am I what am I going to do to um okay, this is what I'm this is what we are going to do. I think it's going to work for for everyone. Uh, so on, uh, on, I think we should have two sessions on sa on Saturday and on Sunday. So this is what I was thinking, David. That yeah. um, we we filter, like we filter. We have a number of people, a specific number of people that we know for sure that they'll be there, no matter what. Yeah. So that we can we can cut it into two parts. You know, yeah. we can cut it into two parts. Uh, so that people will be able to will be able to, uh, to 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 explain what what this and that is from uh, from beginner point to, yeah. to to higher level, you know. So we take them stage by stage, you know, because like I was saying, it would be very difficult because you know someone would say, explain to me about leverage. Maybe even the word leverage, they have never heard it before. True. Remember that nowadays. We are we are in a, we are in the community where you are, we are living in a world whereby people just you know they just open accounts and fund, but they don't know, they don't mind about the leverage. They don't even know what it means. They don't know the margin. What is a margin call? They don't even know pending orders, but they just open accounts without any any skill, without any knowledge, without any you know idea what this thing is. You understand? Yeah. So it's a problem. You know, it's a problem because you'll be teaching this and someone will be, will be doing that. So it becomes a problem. Uh, no problem then, then we, we can, we can, uh, we can tackle that uh, using that method. Mm. And then I think we, we tackle the remaining two uh, things. Mm. That were in the list. I'm looking at the list, and all all I see is okay. The the one about the sub, supply and demand is in YouTube. And yeah, it's we, already there. And we forgot to share the link. I'll I'll share I'll share the link. Uh, then order blocks. Uh, I think I have that video. Mm hmm. And then there's the bit about scalping uh, as, a, an, as, a, as an approach in comparison to day trading and the others. And I think those, those are three, the, the, uh, yes. And then there was about NASDAQ and understanding uh, how it moves because uh, your results are fascinate the person. Mm. Yeah, okay, let me just touch that. Part. Let me touch that part of uh, of scalping and everything. I, I, you guys, I want you to pay attention to what I'm going to say now. In forex, the reason why most people don't make it is because they want to do everything at one time, at the same time. Forex is in stages. A stage of scalping is not for a beginner. It's not. A level of scalping is for a professional trader, a trader that is probably 70, 60, 70% out of 100. Why? Because these people now 
know how to trade following the trend. They don't know how, they, they now know how to trade using uh, price action and all those kind of things. So they know for sure that in this short space of time, before it can shoot up, I know that it has to go down a bit. So they go in, in and out. So it's not everything that you need to know. There are certain things that you need to know in Forex at your level, you know? At your level, it's not everything. It's like it's like you've been in, in you've been trading for for a month or two, or for 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 six months, and you you come and tell me say I need Nasdaq strategy. You sleep with shoes. I'm telling you, you sleep <laughs> with shoes straight because that thing is heavy. Nasdaq is heavy, and it needs people with a strong heart. You have your three hundred dollars account like this. You go with 0 0.1 load. The moment it just moves, maybe 10, 15, 20 pips, you're already shaking. You're already in margin call. Everything is red, like a, like a robot. You panic, you come out. So these things, you know, the most important thing that you must be focusing on, depending on your level, there are certain things that you must be focusing on. What is it that you must be focusing on now? Forex basic education. Forex basic education. Even some of us, when we started Forex, we started with baby peeps, that book, baby peeps. To understand, I had, I had, uh, I had, uh, if you can ask someone today now, so how many candlesticks do we have? How many candlesticks do you have? Some will tell you 10, some will tell you seven, they don't know. We have 21 candlesticks. I have the book called 21 candlesticks patterns. Remember, David, what I used to advise you when I used to teach you guys with, with that, 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 that intake of 20, I don't know if it was 2019 or 2020, I forgot. What did I tell you, David, about how I mastered, a, a, how I mastered, a, how I mastered, a, how do you call this? How I mastered the candlesticks. Do you remember what I told you, what I used to tell people about how I mastered candlesticks? What I did to, to understand them perfectly well. Do you still remember? Uh, <laughs> at the moment, no. <laughs> I used to tell you to say, you guys, I used, I used to tell you, you must stop drinking coffee too much. You, you forget things. <sighs> so this is what I used to do. Are you guys hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes, we can. Yes. Uh, so this is this is what I used to do. I used to get this to see these candles, the the double tweezers, the shooting stars, morning star, uh, bearish, bullish, uh, oh, all those kind of things. So I figured out that I can, to for me to master all these candles by their names and what they do it will be a little bit of a difficult thing. So what did I do? That's why things like Forex require what you call initiative and common sense. So what I used to do is I followed the most important candles. What are the most important candles? I knew for sure that the most important candles on the market, there are seven of them. So what did I do? What is, I told myself, well, how can I do to master the, the movement of these things? So instead of calling them by their names, uh, the, whatever, the, the Haramis, the, the bullish engulfing. So now I, I knew for sure that when I see such a candle and such a pattern, I know that here it will shoot up, I'll go, I'll make money. So what did I do? I give that candlestick a name of our firstborn in our family because he's the eldest. So I know that well, this one can beat us, all of us. I look at the other candle. Okay, this candle is the second from this one. Okay, I guess, okay, my, who is the second born in our family? Oh, uh, oyster, this is, the, this is the candle, I'm going to call it oyster. The third one that follows, oh, who is the third born in our family? Uh, the, our third born, Jordan. Okay, this is Jordan. Who is the fourth born in the family? I know that uh, it's Panther. Uh, this candle name it Panther. You see? So I was I, I, I had to find a strategic way in how I don't forget about those things. A strategic way in how I, I, 
I, I keep mastering them and making sure that I know that when this one appears, uh, this is our, our eldest person in the family. A, move, a, set, a certain movement now is fine, it can go. You understand? So these things, it's about um, levels. When you skip certain things in business, it's a problem. You must follow the routine, you know? Because you cannot look for a Nasdaq strategy if you don't know what the leverage is. You can't. It's impossible. You can't just jump and wanting to know what supply and demand is. You know, when you don't even, even if someone asks you what is the PIP, you don't know what the PIP is. But you want to know Nasdaq strategy. It's not possible. Let's be honest. It's not. So there are certain things you need to follow them properly. You know, we need to follow them properly. That's why now, uh, actually, before this finishes, I need to, I need to speak to who? I need to speak to Sadiz. I need to speak to Tos Tosini. Yeah, these guys, uh, these guys are very, very serious guys. They are always here. They are always here. So I see William is raising the hand. William, you can go ahead and talk. Uh, good evening, Panther and David and the rest of the team. Ah, uh, my father, it's you. <laughs> How are you, great man? <laughs> uh, just hold on. Let me look. Let me go and ash out inside here. <laughs> yeah, you can fall under the anointing. <laughs> <laughs> no, great man. You know what I wanted. What what I wanted to 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 ask you anyway. Um, mm. My apologies because me, I've I've missed most of the links because of, like what you said, the issue of, of work. But today I was pretty much lucky because when I found it, I was already at home. You understand? Mm. So mm. what what I wanted to ask you maybe was, maybe the the the, the, the other structure that you can look into uh, when you're conducting these particular sessions is that you give us the students assignments on to study certain elements that we are struggling with. So let's mm. say, for instance, our issue is maybe PIPs, it's leverage, it's support and demand, it's uh, order blocks. Whilst mm. we have shared all those particular videos in the books, we can go back and then read and study that information. And you then say, guys, analyze NASDAQ. So that when we come back and we have a session, prior to the <coughs> session, everyone must mm. have submitted their analysis. And in that analysis, we must show uh, probably price action. We must show uh, where the order blocks are. We must show the market direction. And we must give maybe a simple presentation to say, if I was to enter here, I will then put my SL here and my take profit will be here based on the following mm -hmm. confluence. If we don't do it in that way and participate, I believe that maybe a lot of people will just come into the session, listen to the video and take the information and leave. But I think if we participate mm -hmm. in submitting our own part, then you know our seriousness. Mm -hmm. That's because you will see, you, you'll then be able to say, ah, William is struggling with this, with this. William is <clears throat> here, it's over, um, over leveraging. Here is over, mm -hmm. he does not understand the element of probably executing trades. Like most of us, maybe when you are executing your trades, we just see you taking maybe 45 trades. And all of us, even with a small account of 1,000, you want to go in there and take 15 trades. And this thing blows your mm. account and you come back and say, ah, Mr. Panther gave a, a, a wrong signal. You understand? So mm. I believe yeah. those are the yeah. dynamics where sometimes when people see the best of what the mentor is doing, sometimes we get hyped up and then we want to do what we are doing instantly. Whilst we don't know that there are certain strategies that you have developed and skill set that you have developed over the years, we need to be able to stay. Okay, let's start maybe with 0 0.01 and hold it for mm, wow, until you wow. say a TP1, TP2, TP3. You understand what I'm saying? So I think mm, a lot of us, yeah. we can sub, we must start submitting a, a sort of an assignment. You say, guys, analyze NASDAQ, give me your take on NASDAQ. You will then see all oh, these are the problems with each and every single person. So that's what mm. I wanted to add. Yeah. No, that's very profound. That's a very, very proper one, you know? Yes, yes. That's a very, very proper one, you know? 
Thank you, thank you. Very, very, very good one. You know, um, I'm sure all of you have heard from Mr. William, whatever, whatever that he said. That's very, that's very important, guys. You know, certain things are not just things that you must just come, you hear, you go, and everything. Certain things you must put them into practice. It's like um, what Mr. Williams is saying is like when we go to school, we are taught about certain things and you're given this and this and this. But it's our it's our duty as students to go home and study all the notes that we're given. You know, if you are if you are if you are you are told, you know, to 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 go and and then or maybe you are being taught about. Uh, statistics that is in math, probabilities, algebra, or whatever. You know, it's your responsibility to go and sit down and just research about that particular thing and come back and present your work. That's why there is marking. You have to present your work according to how you know uh, you are taught and so forth. So certain things just need to go and study and come back and you know, it's an, like an assignment, it's like given an assignment. When you're in visit, you are given an assignment to say, you go and research, I want, I want, you know, a research about one, two, three, four, and you have to go and research and come back with this, with this whole thing, you know? So it's very important. What Mr. William is saying is very, very important. If we could all resort into doing that, I believe we can, uh, we can go far. I believe each one of us would definitely get somewhere, you know? So I think, uh, Mr. William, uh, the, the point that you, you raised is very, very powerful, actually. It's very powerful. You see, like now, we are, we are, we're busy talking about leverage. We're busy talking about, um, uh, we're busy talking about uh, margin levels. You're busy talking about PIPs. These are things that you must go and research. You know, I wanted to say this thing, Mr. William, that's why I like you, you always think like me. You know, yes, I wanted yes, to say yes. this thing, but but you came before mm. me anyway. Yeah, that's good. So you know, Thank you. you need to go and research about these things. We're talking about people, you're talking about leverage, you're talking about margin. You know, you go out there, you have your phone, you have internet, you go out there, you can check what is leverage, what what is margin, what is, you at least you get a slight thing so that when you come here, when we have a session. Us is just to top up on what you or to just to clear it. If what 